Hello everybody and today I am celebrating 10 months on blockers. Also don't ask why there's a chair here. Play the intro. Before I tell you the changes I have noticed this month, I do want to clarify one thing. In the past month or so, I said something about estrogen and I'm not quite sure what went wrong. There seems to have been a communication issue, so let me quickly clear that up. I now qualify for starting estrogen, which means I can now send a letter to my doctor and say, Hey, can you start the process of me starting estrogen? Which means I will send in a letter and from two months past that date, I can then start to get estrogen. And for some reason, people thought I was starting estrogen this week. So I quickly want to say, sorry, I'm not trying to confuse you. I'm trying to do my best to make videos. My mind is, uh... In three weeks time, I am up in London talking to the head gender doctor hospital about me and estrogen. That will be in a daily vlog. Yes, I daily vlog. Subscribe if you want to see the first ever transgender teen daily vlogger. Okay, I think it's time to talk about the changes. Without further ado, let's recap the changes of last month. I started last month talking about mouth spots, and this month I don't really have any, except from this thing. <laughs> it's been there for like two weeks. Save me, please. And I said my hair was less frizzy. And then I showed you how I brushed my hair and how knotty it was. Here we have that exact same brush. My hair isn't frizzy anymore. Yes! 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 And then I said that I didn't have any cravings of which I had the month prior to last month. And in a similar situation, I don't have any cravings anymore. Then I spoke more about my emotional side, and I said that I was extremely, extremely sleepy and tired, and that March was completely and utterly awful for me emotionally, just because I had a lot of stuff going on. And now it's the part of video that you've all been waiting for, the changes of months. Number 10. As I've already said, my spots around my mouth have completely died down. <laughs> there is honestly nothing I can do about that. And the mouth spots that I had around here, they've completely relaxed down. I mean, I'm still getting the odd one, but that, that I'm just a teenager. As I already mentioned, as well as that, my hair is a lot more normal and a... It's in a better state. It's in a lot better state. And there's also been another change that I haven't spoken about for ages, and it's about my sweat. It doesn't smell masculine. It smells like sweat, but not, not boy sweat or girl sweat, it just sweat. And on a similar kind of note, I don't have to wash that often. I used to have to wash every 12 hours, morning and night, every single day. And now I've only started washing in the morning. And also on a similar note to that as well, I'm also a lot more active and I'm also a lot happier and a lot calmer and a lot more upbeat in general. Even my mum said I was a lot more upbeat. And also I've been told that I'm trying harder to do things. <laughs> but in conclusion, mouth spots seem to be a lot less. And my hair is a lot less frizzy. And my sweat smells a little bit less like sweat. And I don't have to wash as much as I was. And on a whole, I am a lot more upbeat. And on that note, thank you guys for watching. And remember as always, a like, a comment, and subscribe. Good bye. It's time to say goodbye.